Hey, this is Mr. Weaver, and this is Unit 2, Lesson 11, and we're going to interpret the graphs of proportional relationships. After this lesson, you need to be able to draw the graph of a proportional relationship given a single point on the graph other than the origin. You need to be able to find the constant of proportionality from a graph, and you need to be able to understand information given by graphs of proportional relationships that are made up of points or a line. You'll know you're successful after this lesson if you can draw a proportional graph given one point, if you can find the constant of proportionality from a graph, and you can understand what information you can determine from a proportional graph. So first, let's look at finding information from a graph. So Jacob rides his bike at a steady pace from his house to the store. The store was four miles away and it took him 15 minutes to get there. From the paragraph, I know that it was four miles away. And if I notice, the distance is on my y-axis. So it would be four units in the positive y direction. Up, four units up. It took 15 minutes to get there, so that would be 15 units in the x direction. So if I graph my point, I would have to go over 15 and up 4. I can place my point there, 15, 4. So that says that it took 15 minutes to go 4 miles. Okay. I have to put the point there based on where my units are given on my graph. What would this graph look like? If it was a proportional situation, we know a couple things. First, we know that it has to go through that point 15, 4, because it told us in the problem that he was four miles away after 15 minutes. But since it's proportional, we also know that it must be a straight line. And it has to go through the origin. So those three things help tell us what the graph would look like. So what that would end up looking like is a line that goes from the origin straight to that point that we know. So if you're given one point, in order to figure out what the graph looks like, you just draw a line through that point and the origin. Make it a straight line. What if I want to find the constant of proportionality from my graph? Well, our constant of proportionality is our rate. The easiest way that we've done so far to figure out our constant of proportionality is to use a table. So, let's create a table. Our table consists of our x values and our y values. And the only x values and y values we know are from our coordinate. So if we take that coordinate and go backwards from what we did in the last lesson, 15 must be our x and 4 must be our y. Now we can use what we learned in previous lessons to find our constant of proportionality. We would do our y divided by our x or our output divided by our input. Okay, so we would do 4 divided by 15, which is 0 0.266. Another thing that we can determine once we figure out our constant of proportionality, we need to know where is it located on our graph. Well, we would need to come up with a point where that also equals 0 0.266 as our constant of proportionality. And we've seen it a couple of times already in previous lessons, but that shows up when your y value is the constant of proportionality because your x value is 1. So your constant of proportionality on your graph is going to be at the point 1 and then whatever it is on your graph. In this case, it's 0.266. So our constant of proportionality is the y-coordinate when x equals 1. 
So on our graph, we would go one over, up how many ever we need to to get to the line. That value is your constant of proportionality. If it's complicated like it is in this situation, 0.266, you're not going to be able to guess that. Use the points that you know, such as 15 and 4. You'll get the same answer regardless. In this lesson, we learned about different things we can tell from our graphs. For example, we learned if we were given a point on the graph, to make that graph, we just draw a straight line through that point and through the origin, and there's our proportional graph. If we want to find our constant of proportionality from the graph, we look for the y value when the x coordinate is 1. Okay? If it gets too complicated, finding from a graph, we can always turn our graph into a table or into an equation and go from there. In the example here, we have the same proportional situation represented three ways. We have it in a table, we have it in an equation of y equals 5 fourths x, and we also can see it in our graph. In these three things, our constant of proportionality shows up in different places. So in the table, we can see that 5 fourths is paired with 1. 5 fourths must be the constant of proportionality. In our equation, we have y equals 5 fourths x. Again, our number is 5 fourths. That's our constant of proportionality. And if I want to look at our graph, I'm looking for a coordinate that's 1 comma something. And in this case, it's 1 comma 5 fourths. So again, our constant of proportionality was 5 fourths. After this lesson, do you now know how to draw a proportional graph given one point? Can you find the constant of proportionality from a graph? And can you understand some information that can be determined from a proportional graph? If you're not sure on these, go back and look through some of the examples or the summary to deepen your understanding and really solidify this content. And that's the end of lesson 11 on interpreting proportional graphs.